Hello, friends! We are happy to present you a series of lessons for playing the tone drums, and we will use Gouda drum by Zen Percussion for these purposes. The material presented in this course will help you master not only the basic techniques of playing the tone drum, but is also essential for all such instruments – handpans, tongpans, tank drums. In this collection of lessons we will analyze the concept of rhythm, melody, composition, as well as their combination to create a full-fledged musical work. Also, in this series of lessons, various rhythm in various sizes will be considered, and many useful exercises will be presented to ensure that your practice on the instrument is successful and not boring. In this video, we will have a close look at Gouda instrument. We will analyze its structure, learn how to make the basic sounds and introduce some necessary terms that will help us in our future practice. So, what is Gouda drum? Gouda is the musical instrument, overtone tongue drum or tongue pan, another popular name of this class of instruments, created in Ukraine, a workshop Zen Percussion Company. This drum is made of two hemispheres of stainless steel and tuned to produce clear and harmonious tones. Gouda can have different colors and designs and other options, but particularly this instrument has black matte finishing and like most of Gouda, has manual engraving on it. Top side has tongs. Rear side is for sound amplification. The sound hole is closed with wooden plug, which has logo of Zen percussion. The edge of the instrument is covered with special rope band, which has two functions – decorative and protective. Under the rope agent you can find the serial number so you can ensure that your Gouda was made by official maker Zen Percussion and is not a fake one. By the way, Gouda has lots of different models and could have different tunings, materials, designs, finishing types, colors, electronic options and else. More info you can find on official Gouda website. This instrument is Gouda 2.0 Plus model. It has nine double tongs. As you can see, each tongue consists of two parts. Such construction give more rich and bright sound. You can hear more tone plus octave overtone when hit the tongue. The notes of the instrument are arranged in a circle. Such arrangement is called the tonal circle. The notes in the tonal circle are arranged in ascending order ladder, from the lowest to the highest, from right to left. The lowest note is called root, also tonic or bass, and is located in the center of the instrument. This arrangement of notes is standard for all our instruments, also true for most of handpans. Such arrangement of notes is dedicated by the convenience of the playing and the logic of building rhythmic and melodic parts. What is the best way to hold an instrument? Well, you can hold the instrument on your lap or place it on a special stand with notes up. You can find different stands for tongue drums and handpans in our store. The instrument should be placed in such a way that the largest notes, lows, are closer to you and the smaller notes, high notes, farther from you. This will give you convenience and confidence in the basic development of the tongue drum or handpan. This location is recommended, but not the only correct one. When you have mastered the instrument well, you can hold it at your convenience. Let's consider.
consider a method for sound producing. The sound is produced by heating the surface of instrument or tongue with your fingers. You can heat with any finger, but it is most convenient to do this with the first phalanx of the index or thumb. However, some players could prefer to play with other fingers. This is up to you. In order to extract a clean, beautiful tone from the tongue, you need to make a quick and clear heat. The heat should be applied to the upper region of the large tongue of this note. The strike must be accurate and sharp. It is necessary to immediately remove the finger after the impact, so that the tongue can freely oscillate and make a loud and clear sound. Life hack number one. In order to understand how to do this in the best way, you need to imagine that the surface of the tongue is very hot. By striking with your finger, you quickly pull back your hand as if afraid to get burnt. Imagine this, and I am sure that you will definitely be able to produce the right heat. Let's try to constantly extract all the notes on our instrument, moving in a system from the lowest note, bass, to the highest note. Let's do it in two ways, thumb and forefinger. Let's do it in the reverse order. Choose for yourself which fingers are more convenient for you to play. Life hack number two. You may find it more convenient to combine your fingers using both the thumb and forefinger. Thumbs are more convenient for playing notes close to you and index fingers for notes that are farther from you. We introduce a few more terms that will be useful to us in the future. Kicking a bass note we will continue to call doom. A hit to the instrument body near the edge let's call tech. A hit to the instrument body near the edge on the opposite side of the instrument is called ka. Since each instrument is individual and there are no two equally sounding instruments, the areas of sound of the instrument will be slightly different. Look for area you like on your instrument. The sound should be clear, bright, with a slight percussion tint. Move a little to the right, left, up or down. Listen to the sound received. Discover your instrument. It is very interesting. Find three areas that you will like for doom, tech and ka and roughly remember their location. It's enough for today. In the next video we will look at how to create a folk water rhythm for learn sounds, how to play this rhythm on our instrument. We will get acquainted with the practice of graphical recording of rhythm working with a metronome and an internal sense of rhythm. See ya!